why Western audiences are so captivated by. Let's talk about Hoyun. Bro, 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 bro. She's so basic. Oh my God. Y'all gassing her up so much. Yo. Oh my God, bro. Yo, she's so mid, but everybody on the internet is like, oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, yo, bro. You say y'all capping? Come on, dude. Look, she's a pretty girl. But everybody out here acting like she on some astronomical tier, like she is the next coming of Jesus Christ. Yes, she's pretty. She all right. You said her lips busting? Okay, let's watch this video. Jung, you may know her as Squid Games Player 67. I've seen her in a couple of fashion weeks in the past, but the answer for why she's so attractive is actually really quite simple. She's extremely symmetric, more so than most models, with a masculine facial... Oh, extremely symmetric. Now that you mention it, I haven't noticed that. Oh, hell yeah. She's extremely symmetric. Oh, shit. Width to height ratio. In other words, her face is very short and wide with a mix of neotenous or juvenile and dimorphic features and above average dentofacial growth. In short, she fits Western ideals of female beauty more so than the Eastern ones, and I'll explain what I mean by that in just a bit. If you're new to the channel, we break down beauty in a more scientific way using research literature. So strap in, I'm going to explain why each of these points in a scientific way using Bro, research literature. Oh, that's the guy from freaking, um, what's his name? Wasn't there a game that came out with Hideo Kojima? The FedEx, um, simulator? What's it called? Str Death Stranding? Bro, if I was Kojima, I'll sue the fuck out this. Like, like, what the hell is this? He belongs in the Kojima game. I don't know who this is, but I will sue him. Literature. So strap in. I'm going to explain why each of these points contributes to her unique but quite intimidating look and why in Squid Game, her look worked so well in depicting a cutthroat rogue character. Let's watch this. To That's start off her analysis, let's talk about symmetry. Symmetry is important in modeling for a number of reasons. From an evolutionary psychology point of view, researchers such as Gillian Rhodes have identified it as one of the fundamentals of an attractive face. A symmetric face is an indicator of strong genetic health, <laughs> but more importantly, a Yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I keep thinking about the face symmetry shit, and I saw some TikTok where people used to constantly, like, you know, put their face in the middle of the phone, and they used to do this thing where they used to swap it. Where like, you know, when you tap the screen, it mirrors the image and there used to be girls and dudes trying to do it. And then like their eyes would be mad fucking slanted and they would start crying at the end of the video. Fuck, is my face symmetrical? Hold on. Oh man, I'm probably ugly as shit. Fuck, hold on. Fuck, hold on. Let me see if I can find a thing on TikTok and like, and like post it on Twitter. I'm probably fucking ugly, man. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Where the fuck is the effects, the symmetrical effect? I'm trying to find a chat. Hold on. Did I bookmark it? No. Trending. Where's the symmetrical? Where is it? I could have sworn I seen it before. I can't find it. I think it's called flip. Can I search it up? There's got to be a way I can search it up. You said, um, <laughs> everyone in the chat. I don't think you're ugly. No, I got to find out. I have to find out. This is the ultimate test. Where is the shit? Um, mm, mm, mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
New green screen events, atmosphere, accessories, music, animals, world, funny. Is that the one where it's funny? I don't think I'm going to find it. You said, um, shout out to Simple Flips. People still say that. People still say that shit. Shout out to Simple Flips. What does Simple Flips do now? Does he just still play Mario 64 all the time? You know how I'm going to find it, chat? I'm going to have to type it down on, on the TikTok thing. Let me see. Symmetry. Symmetrical face. I'm going to have to type it down. Inverted. It's the inverted filter. I was looking at something completely different. Okay. I got to see. Oh, my God. I'm ugly, bro. I'm ugly. My face is not symmetrical. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Am I holding my head right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not holding my head right. My head's tilted. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm ugly, bro. Oh, you said show us. You know what? I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it right now on um. I'm gonna post it on uh on oh I can't post it on Discord. I'm not even logged into Discord on my phone. I don't know what the fuck. Hold on. You said post it on TikTok? No. Hold on. Oh my god! Why is my hair like? Oh my god, why is my head so slanted? I'm upset. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. I'm not a model. Symmetric face is one that's free of any malocclusions, malformations, or disruptions like cleft palate, which is oh my god, the baby indicators, as we've covered in our full breakdown on the different types of symmetry over here. The symmetry component is also partially influenced by your upbringing. Healthy dentofacial development is influenced by the diet that you eat. And as we've covered previously, 75% of asymmetries occur in the lower jaw, unsurprisingly because it's subject to a lot of uneven forces from all directions and you start chewing hard and soft foods. So See, having symmetry I already is a knew this benefit. Dominican dude is ugly. JK, you're hella cute. Thank you, Riolas. I appreciate it. You look, this is what I was trying to do on TikTok right here. Look. It's strong nature and nurture qualities that you would want to pass on to your offspring. From personal experience in the modeling industry, symmetry is really important for- Oh my god. Yo, Spectrum went down so hard just now. <clears throat> Spectrum went hard so oh my frontal shot which is much more important in print and editorial not so much for runway because in fashion and runway you're going to be gone in a second so nobody's really assessing your symmetry while you're walking on a runway mastering the perfectly symmetrical dead on look is also very difficult because a lot of models minor eyelid asymmetry or jaw asymmetries are very common so having a perfectly symmetrical face even in a group of some of the most no crap is it's common because nobody's face is perfect we're all humans we're all full of imperfections the fact that you think that a human could just instantly have a face that is perfectly symmetrical same freaking eye pockets like dude symmetrical faces on the planet is a big factor in looking strikingly different Oyon also has an unusual facial dimension. Unusual in the sense that it deviates from the Korean beauty standard of thin, narrow, and tall face shapes. In other words, the oval face shape, as we've covered in our East Asian beauty standards video. Her face is actually more masculine. Oh, that's a nice picture of her. I've never seen her look like this. 
Because I'm not going to lie to you. When I see her face, I only think of Squid Game. Oh my, oh Damn, my son. God. Where'd you oh find this? God. He gets on me! Oh, my God! Oh, my fucking God! My man with the 32, 32 months. 32 months, silly retro stro a a yeah. Yo, thank you for the tier two for 32 months. Samui, baby, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. You said she used to be a model before Squid Games, like high, like highly recognized. I didn't know that. I only, whenever I, I see her, I've never seen her in like pictures like this. I've only just seen her in Squid Game. She looks real nice in this photo though. I can't even lie. I can't even lie, she looked real nice here. Increased malar or cheekbone prominence, which funnily enough is something that many East Asians get reduced in what's known as malar reduction surgery to achieve a narrower face and that overall face shape. Malar reduction surgery? So so how do they do that? Do they cut your cheeks and then take out the, the, the meat? An overall face shape increases impressions of trust and femininity at first glance, whereas her facial dimensions have quite the opposite effect. So despite not fitting the Korean or East Asian standards in theory, her features fit very strongly with beauty preferences in the West for female models. Now that face and that picture, she looked good. Most of which, if you'll notice, have wide and more masculine appearing faces with great identifacial protrusion. This very characteristic of a wide but short face has been identified in the research literature as far back as the late 1980s as having a high facial width to height ratio, which is a masculinizing feature that makes the face seem much more intimidating. However, instead of using the traditional facial width to height ratio, a facial index ratio is better at showing what I mean, as the facial width to height ratio is more concerned about the dimensions of the mid face and the facial index considers the dimensions of the face as a whole. Having a wide face not only stretches the cheekbones out to have- That's a cool ass picture of her. I can't even hold you, bro. She looks like she a mafia member. Greater Mala prominence, but also stretches the Damn eyes bro, out to I look can't narrower believe and Spectrum wider. just said that you were ugly like that. When are you gonna ditch the dusty bitch and find a Wi-Fi that'll respect you? True. Stroy a -A True. True. Uh, assuming that the face has health- I gotta beat Spectrum's ass, man. I'm about to go to their headquarters. Crazy. The and proportional dentifacial development without any hypertellurism or other abnormalities. Researchers such as Genial et al. have identified that higher facial width to height ratios make faces appear much more untrustworthy, but also intimidating. What? I didn't even know shit like that existed. These schematics. They said that that if your eyes are what like more close or, or more symmetrical, I trust you more. Well, huh? but also intimidating, which is exactly how Hoyun was portrayed through player six. Hold on, let me turn off my PlayStation. Maybe that's the, the issue. What else could potentially be causing lag? Maybe it's that. All right. Maybe it's Discord. Oh my god, Spectrum, please. This garbage shit. Um, okay. <laughs> Yo, I thought I thought Hidden and Cammy was living with each other. I saw it on Twitter. I was like, what? 67. As you can imagine, this makes the face intimidating, much like the eyes of a jaguar or some other predator. An idea which we've covered in our analysis of another model, Jordan Barrett, with an equally wide and intimidating face. I feel as if at this point, I've covered everything on the channel for you guys to just come up with your own analysis. Quite recently on the podcast, I spoke about the concept of averaged faces. In other words, a composite of many faces together looks better than an individual face on its own. However, the most attractive faces actually deviate away from the averaged faces. Pay attention to the wording there. This is because the most attractive models, particularly women, have above average dentifacial protrusion as identified by Peck and Peck 1970. This is a concept that I've never actually talked about explicitly, but have hinted at in the past, and perhaps you've noticed this yourself when looking at female models in their castings. 
most Western models have very defined dentofacial features and jaw sizes and dimensions that can almost rival their male See the counterparts. left and right? In the East, model selections are much more cute and soft with less protrusive dentofacial features and... Hooray for my almost two year. I painted this masterpiece just for you. Also, news lock, news lock, news lock, news lock, news lock. News lock? The Nuzlocke is happening when Diamond and Pearl comes out. My man said Newslock. Hold on. I got to make sure the image that you're sending me is nothing that's going to get me potentially destroyed off the face of the planet. He said made this shit for the lulls. You said you drew this. I painted this. Cap, what the hell was this? Drawing retro in a 1-1 ratio? The guy in the Mario Kart? This is simply because of different beauty standards. Hoyeon falls into the former category, giving her that dominating and intimidating look, but with a number of soft and neotenous facial features that can still make her appear quite feminine. Most women, on average, will have less defined jaws and forward protrusive dentifacial growth than their male counterparts. That's just how it is. However, those that do not produce more striking Yo, and intimidating faces that Westerners tend to find more attractive. From Peck's paper, Miss Massachusetts 1964 on the top right, and virtually all of the other beauty pageant winners all have very wide faces with relatively narrow and masculine eyes. This isn't to say that they're more attractive than narrower oval-shaped faces, and rounded feminine eyes that you'd see in the East, but this is an American beauty standard with a preference for masculine dentifacial structures and wide bizygomatic widths. All of these faces have very defined inferior mandible borders or jaw lines, and protrusive lower jaws that line up with the glabella or the base of the forehead, indicating a normally projected jaw. This is so much shit. Women typically tend to have more retrusive jaws that fall just and so why Western audiences are so captivated by, by her face. I'ma keep it a buck fifty with you. Y'all just captivated cause y'all horny. Cause I know damn well 99% of the demographic ain't doing all this. 99% of the people that looking at her ain't doing all this. All these rulers, all these measurements looking at um asymmetrical shits, taking out goddamn um scales and shit. Nah, everybody ain't doing this. Just a bit short. Y'all just horny. Line but not these exceptional examples, which are considered some of the most attractive women. She's pretty. Don't get me wrong, but people ain't out here doing facial measurements. Right. Having a more retrusive jaw, like the average woman is expected to have, makes the jawline appear less defined, as the skin and soft tissue is not stretched as tightly or tautly, and makes the face appear a lot softer, less intimidating, more submissive, albeit a bit more feminine too. On the contrary, above average faces have longer mandibles, oftentimes with greater gonial width or jaw width for both men and women, which is why the likes of Margaret Robbie to Ho Yoon, despite her being a Korean actor. Margaret Robbie, she a hottie. And she has some nice teeth, man. Every time her mouth opens, I'm just like, the teeth. Los dientes son perfectos. Actor and model, so a not Caucasian like in these examples, are so captivating to a Western audience. Peck's paper defines facial harmony as an orderly and logical flow of facial features, which is a very subjective term. Personally, at Coves, we define harmony using proportion tests for our facial aesthetic reports, some of which we've actually covered here. But looking at Hoyun's side profile, it's very clear to see that her orthodontic profile has a very pleasing balance with her soft tissue profile. In other words, one particular facial feature does not dominate over the others, such as a prognathic or protruding jaw. Lastly, her face has a lot of neotenous features, which is why it's softer and rounder than typical models. Facial neoteny refers to the presence of juvenile features that influence the way that that face is perceived. More babyish faces with juvenile features, such as a youthful hairline with no frontotemporal recession, or a high hairline and rounded forehead, may be taken less seriously and are obviously less intimidating which is not what we want for her role in Squid Game. Buccal fat is informally referred to as baby fat, as the volume loss in this region is one of the more notable signs of an aging or maturing face. You can also get it surgically removed early on to give yourself a less neotenous face like many celebrities and models do, 
But to be fair, I don't actually know if Margaret Robbie had the surgery done or she just aged naturally and gracefully in this example. Maybe you've noticed it for yourself as Julie Bowen's cheeks go from soft and puffy to gaunt and sharp 11 seasons later for Modern Family. In Squid Game, her buckle fat appears to be a lot less and this could be a combination of camera angles, weight She looks so mad here, oh my god. She looked like high key. You, you, you ever been like, I say if you ever been in high school, Everybody here in high school, right? You ever seen that one girl in class that looked like this in high school? And then you'd be like, why your face look like that? And then they'd be like, that's my face. That's my face. And I'd be like, bro, stop. Why you look so mad? <laughs> Resting bitch face. She just looks so angry. Loss, high contrast, and color grading in post-production. Or what I would guess is a little bit of dehydration. Which gives the cheek a hollower, almost starved look as the mala eminences or the cheekbones really start to pop. Obviously, this is a mature facial trait. Yeah, I've never been in high school chat. Oh my god. The opposite of a neotenous facial feature, and we take number 67 a lot more seriously as a result. Compare this to her companion, number 240, who is not only portrayed as a smaller, frailer girl with more neotenous and girlish features than, well, spoiler. We don't really expect her to do any of the cutthroat. Her smile, dude. I saw her in an interview. When I see her smile, I'm like, bro, the whole room just lights up. Her smile is so nice. The things that Seb York does, and true to her character, she is a very passive person. These casting decisions are very deliberate and complement the camera angles and acting personas that have been written up by the writers for every single character. When an actor is said to have the look that these casting directors are going for, these are the factors that these directors actually consider. Although a lot more subconsciously, I'm sure they're not calculating <laughs> facial width to height ratios and comparing them to cephalometric standards. So hopefully that clears up your burning questions of why Hoyun is so attractive, huh. especially why the West is all of a sudden smitten by a model and new actor they would have never heard of before. Her on-screen persona as a dominant and capable woman also adds to the appeal and this guy played like the perfect bad guy. Oh my goodness. We've covered this on-screen influence in virtually every analysis of a celebrity especially in the Ryan Gosling analysis. But understand that the way she is portrayed in Squid Game is certainly not how she looks in reality. The lack of sleep. Like he has all the qualities of like being the bad guy. My man got the tattoo of the snake. The freaking greased up hair long. He got the big, like he got like that, you know, that big face. The big eyebrows, just the... Like I swear to God... <laughs> Starved and I feel like Kiryu would be fighting him. Like, like remember how in um, Yakuza Zero, there's like the Dons, and then they all got the tattoos on their back, and then and then you had to fight them and shit, bruh. I'd look in a sense adds to her attractiveness as a da Kuz? <laughs> dangerous and alluring persona. But a lot of these episodes play up this side of her facial appeal, especially with the example of her buckle fat and that dehydrated look in the series with diffuse lighting to appear mature and serious. Compare this to when she's walking at a runway under harsh lighting, which makes her look a lot more rounded and juvenile. If you would like to get your facial aesthetic scientifically analyzed by our ace team of doctors and aestheticians, much like we did in this video, then look no further than the Coos Aesthetic Report. We Hell no! He said, would you like to get your face examined? Fuck out of here! I'm gonna have to pay him like 20, I said 20, probably like 50 to 100 dollars just to tell him I'm fucking ugly. I sent him a bunch of pictures of my face. You are ugly as shit. Mad, unsymmetrical, looking like straight dog water. I feel so sorry for whatever gave birth to you. And I'd be like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just straight up crying after that shit. I want my money back. I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to go straight back on PayPal. Just charge back. Fuck you guys, man.